hello everyone welcome back to mrs refu channel in today's recipe i am going to show you how i prepare a very simple ghanaian abunubunu soup or green soup so let's get started for this soup i have got here baby spinach by the way i couldn't get cochlear leaves so this is what i'm going to use today and i have about 400 grams so i have already washed it and now i am going to add about 500 ml of water to cook it so now my spinach is on the stove and i'm going to cover it and leave it to cook for about five minutes it's very quick as for the meat i have got some salted beef here at the front then i have got some salted pig feet or pig trotters i have got my favorite beef brisket and some oxtail here i have got two thumb sized ginger two medium sized onion one diced onion two fresh tomatoes three scotch bonnets one maggi crayfish and my percocet or everyday pot i am also going to add smoked mackerel and i have got two big sides i am also going to use some maggi powder here i have blended a small thumb sized ginger with five garlic cloves and a cup of water and here i have got some close cup mushrooms all right so let's take a look at our spinach and as you can see it is ready and i am going to take it out of the stove and to keep its nice green color i am going to add a few ice cubes to it and leave it on the side in the meantime, I'm going to put my meat in my cooking pot and then I am going to add one diced medium sized onion. Although this is optional, you don't really have to do it, but it just gives it a nice taste. And then I'm going to add my blended ginger and garlic. Next, I'm going to add one bowl of water using the same bowl i used next i'm going to add my tomatoes my two onions i'm also going to add my scotch bonnet pepper and my ginger next i'm going to add one cube of crayfish you can use prawns then i'm going to add one tablespoon of maggie powder and then I'm going to cover it and bring it to a boil for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, my onions and tomatoes, ginger and pepper are soft and I'm going to take it out of the pot. Okay friends, so here are my veggies. Next step, very easy. I'm going to put everything in my blender and blend it straight away. By the way, you could also cook the veggies directly with the spinach if you wanted to okay now I'm going to blend it with one cup of the water I coat my spinach in all right so everything is nicely blended nice and smooth and I'm going to add it now I'm going to rinse my blender and add it as well stir it cover it and leave it to cook for about 20 minutes in the meantime i have got my spinach here and can you see this nice bright green color yes and i am going to blend it as well and i repeat it i have got about 400 grams of baby spinach and then i am going to blend it with its own water so whilst that is blending i am going to Poke some holes in my Percocet or Everdan pods, you know, for more flavor. And after that, I'm just going to put it on the stove, like, you know, as if I was roasting it, you know, for more, more flavor. And I remember one of my subscribers said that I should let it burn. And this is exactly what I'm doing. So big ups to that subscriber. All right, guys. Now I am going to add in my blended spinach or blended cochlear leaves and contumere which is the best by the way i'm saying it again then i'm going to rinse my blender 
with about one liter water and add it to it and then straight away I'm going to add in my mushrooms and then my prekese or eridan pot just give it a nice little stir and then I am going to cover it and leave it to simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes in the meantime I have got my smoked mackerel here and I'm just going to cut it into two now I am going to add in my salmon or mackerel I think in Ghana they call it salmon that's why I'm saying that and I have got four pieces because I cut each mackerel into all right next for those that like it very spicy I'm going to add one more scotch bonnet and then I'm gonna add one tablespoon of Maggi powder one tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning this is sweet agilis by the way then I am going to add one more crayfish or prawn or shrimp cube whichever you have or you prefer and then one teaspoon of salt to taste and of course you can always add more now let's give it a little stir and then I am going to cover it again but partially and leave it to cook until my soup is ready you notice the oil will settle on top and the soup will become a bit darker okay and then that's it your soup is ready just as you see here you're just going to give it a nice last stir and then i'm going to serve my food so you all know a bunebunu coin or spinach soup goes with fufu and i have got here my coco yam fufu guys it should also work with plantain fufu so you should try both and then i am going to tuasieno tuasieno medebo for me nimi ways can not tell me nimi the ways can before muncho ngwa se ona and then i am going to garnish it you know for my hobby he is the one who always eats in the asanka so this is it a nice piece of smoked mackerel with some pre so wao hunda you know and this is it all right my dear friends so this was my ebunebunu quine without the snails because i couldn't get it but it will be on for next time well i hope you enjoyed watching this recipe it's very easy as usual you know me i'm for easy recipes and i really hope you did enjoy watching it if you did please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up comment share my video subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next time bye bye and god bless you all bye